It's Warcraft Day. Greetings, everybody. This is Stormy with the capital Z coming back at you with another replay request. And like always, we always have to begin with some sort of a mess up. So we're gonna have to rename this into Lucker. There we go. That's done real quickly. Nothing to worry about. We're all cool. We're all good. And we're able to use uh, stream avatars in this particular we, uh, stream. And yes, there we go. More, more mess ups. My webcam is not working. Why is it not working? Ah, there you go. There you go. Now you can see me. Now you can see me live. So this is going to be a replay request by none other than the Mexican hitman Lucker. And he will be spawning on the bottom left as the yellow orc player. He's going to be taking on a player. He's a rather popular player. Dogs in Berlin. I think I've seen a couple of his games before. I think I'm pretty sure we have cast one of his games before in the past. Not exactly sure if it was against Lucker or Mofan, but I do believe we have done that in the past. So, just like always. And, oh, booster isn't working. Oh, there we go, Lucker. Thank you for notifying me that. That's something that needs to be on, not some cosmetic all robot thingies. We need booster, man. We need booster. So getting that up, it's gonna be up in a moment. Uh, it's gonna be Nidal versus Orc, and it will be on Northern Isle. And like always, just like to mention that anybody and everybody is welcome to send me replays for the replay request series to know more about how you can do so. Join my Discord server. Link to that is on the Twitch panel and in the description below. And there we go. I think we have everything in place. Uh, by the way, yeah. I'm gonna try and keep looking upwards over here so that you guys kind of feel that I'm I'm looking at you as well. Otherwise, you're you're gonna see me like look down downwards most of the time because I have a like big screen now. Okay, kind of getting used to it. I did put it up uh, towards the oh, camera. Looks great. Oh, hey, thanks, thanks, man. <laughs> Thanks that you liked it. But yeah, I did try to put it up towards the uh, below, well, bottom of the monitor. A um, player's forces are right on where the stand of the monitor is. I didn't really like how I looked in that one, so I just reverted back to where I used to keep it. So right side right here. What is the hero choice for Dogs of Berlin? It's going to be none other than Keeper of the Grove and Lucker. Well, this is just uh, this is just not something that I need to suggest. Lucker has to go for Blade Master. It just had to be Blade Master for Lucker. I'm gonna go in for this uh, green camp, pick it up, get some nice item out of there. We have a scout wisp over here and uh, nothing very special to talk about for the time being at least. Scout Peon of Lucker already yeah. making his way towards the idle base and uh, oh, uh, Hunter Salt is gonna be making his way a bit later even if he does go for Hunter Salt. Critical Strike is actually Lucker's first ability, okay, that's one thing, that's one way of uh, starting things off. That does kind of signify that Lucker will likely be creeping a bit and then going in for assaults later on because Windwalk is also necessary, this is kind of an indicator. And really honest, I would say I like it, I'd rather go in for an assault after getting my hero to level 2, you have 2 spells. It's just a better approach to that. And hey, there's my man. There's Jockey. Reforged. There's Jockey. So we got Lucker who's about to lose his Scout Peon. And that Scout Peon, Steve, who we apparently like to call him Steve, was a bit stubborn there. Was st stood ground there for some reason and then almost got killed. But Lucker getting him near those creeps so that he can deny the experience to his opponent. Dogs of Rocks in Berlin losing that uh, experience. Yeah, that's that little bit of experience that was also necessary to him, I guess, attack. at that point. He's gonna go in for more creeping while he sends his hero out to look for where Lucker would be, or I guess he wants the item. The item? What item is he on? He just sold off his slipper, and Lucker's at the creep. And what do we have here? I'm here for a short time because hashtag life called. Of course, life called, Jockey. Appreciate uh, all your. Uh, concern though that you do uh, drop by sometime here and there really appreciate that and uh, Lucker trying to disturb the creeping over here. He already did do oh, that. He didn't manage to push away the archers What do we have? What do you have here? Keeper of the Grove going in. Dogs of Berlin going in for the assault Lucker pushing back all of his gold mining peasants into that burrow and they're actually dealing good amount of damage on that keeper All's already out to less than 50 Gonna have to use the TP I mean, Lucker is losing gold right now, and he's not able to get gold out of uh, his stuff. But whoa, I mean, I gotta say, he almost got that keeper got he almost got that keeper killed. And if 
that blade master was nearby this would have definitely been a cadet creep uh that keeper yeah creeper creeper of the go growth and what do we have here Nubi xd says better safe than sorry but she's that keeper <laughs> absolutely <laughs> that keeper just kind of committed suicide there that was a kamikaze attack for sure and uh like we're getting to use mirror emit sort of with uh, illusionary wants nice that you can use all three abilities of a hero with an item and not having to uh slot that in so we will walk going after the keep of the grove although i'm a bit surprised i would rather collect to go after archers but it is night time so i guess it would be the wiser choice going after the keeper because keeper cannot shadow melt there is no cloak keeper is super weak right now and i mean this is just just like that i mean if you think about it just like that keeper was down to like less than 50 percent hp that is that is the damage of the blade master that is exactly what the blade master is up to and what do we have here any night of your stormy is popular five viewers yeah five viewers and yes the viewers are walking the viewers are walking walking in in, in front of the screen there and they're not blocking good amount of info information for, uh, for sure they're not blocking stuff I'm, I'm pretty sure i'll come up with a good way of putting them down probably gonna put them below the warcraft 3 banner where they don't really disturb anything and that'd be kind of cool because uh, it's definitely gonna be a bit of a hassle when we have more viewers and uh, uh, that that place gonna be clogged up it's already clogged up with bots right now dogs in berlin gonna pick himself a beef master yes we can officially call it only the beef master we're not even gonna call it the beast master anymore and he's gonna go after some creep camps lucker is poised to strike there we go a dust appearance but lucker gets the last hit and gets the steal on that item lovely lovely game gameplay there but a lovely item there as well boots of health loss they're gonna be increasing damage and uh, and the attack speed there as well for the agility type hero there's a blade master after trying to go after the heroes once again maybe going after the archer would be a good idea but yeah of course they can shadow well that's really just the thing there uh he does have dust though he does have dust he can just use that at any time and dust was used over here early there and that dust definitely belonged to dogs in berlin since uh luckers dust is uh a player cool over there in the inventory for a moment i actually thought that it was uh vice versa and uh, Lucker got his Shadow Hunter out, who is going in for some creeping. But what do we have here? An Ancient of Wonders, but that's going to be detected right away. That's going to be detected. Okami incoming. And Lucker managing to fool his opponent with the Illusionary Blade Master. Now I'm going to go after the archers. It is daytime. It is daytime. And it is time to rock. The Night of Archers will not be able to hide anymore. There is no more hiding from the Blade Master, who is about to be level 3. And once he hits level 3, that's going to be a dangerous Blade Master. Talks of Berlin doing everything he can to keep that Blade Master off of his trail, but. Uh, of his tail, rather. This is rather turning out to be a bad situation for him. He is losing archers left, right, and center. And Lucker is going in for some reason. I guess he's waiting for the army to complete that creep camp and then come in with everything he's got. Or maybe. I guess he just wants to heal. He is using the healing self on his uh, illusionary blade master. That's actually a good idea, by the way, if you think about it. Your opponent can actually waste time on the illusionary blade master, a and he has a not attack. Ah, there we go. Now he attacked it, so his opponent knows that that's an illusion. Now he sees the real one. So yeah, that's kind of a nice uh, fake out that you can do on your opponent. Use uh, some sort of a healing thing or something on the illusion. That doesn't really cost you a lot, but that will kind of make uh, your opponent believe that that may just be the real one. So, yeah, that's, that's a nice way of going about it. And also give you vision, of course. So, as useless as it sounds, it is pretty, pretty useful there. Here comes Lucker's Blade. Did get the kill? Oh, he got entangled. Got revealed and got entangled. The hawk, the hawk in the air. The hawk is so good. Here comes Lucker's army, though. Purge on the archer. He's going after the other targets, going after the other archer, while the rest of the army goes Blade after this one. Shadow Hunter level 3, Blade Master level 3, Lucker is on the roll right now. And situation is looking bad for dogs in Berlin. Who is going in for Dotsville? Yeah, that's something we completely not, did not cover. Completely missed out. There was so much action going on, we completely missed it out. We got four of them right now though. 
it's gonna be like a archer uh, dots combination or not he's going in for the final upgrade right now so they only they can only transform right now and cast fairy fire but yes to be fair that is something which does matter but cyclone is really the real house they're gonna need cyclone real soon i'm not surprised no hunts says the bxd are under attack it was kind of obvious uh, later on as uh, Dogs of Berlin was upgrading. I would have thought he would go for lore or wind, so he went in for wind in this uh, particular scenario. And of course, uh, we can't really forget uh, classic Night Elf. Uh, he may go in for the third hero as well. And classic Night Elf, speaking of classic Night Elf, this is something different now. He's going in for mass summons now. So you got Triumphs, you got Lava Swans, and you, you also got the Beefmaster's beefy, beefy uh, summons there. Will Beasts and uh, Hawks for the time being, which are gonna be very great actually. And yeah, now, right now, creeping out a green camp with three heroes that are really not gonna be benefiting. I don't know, I, I wouldn't really say they're gonna be benefiting at all, really. This is not really the amount of experience you wanna gain with the amount of time you spend. Going in for a harder camp would be a better idea, but of course, if you're just gonna kill them on the way to the harder camp, that's just an idea. That's not uh, something that you should be targeting though. I definitely saw dogs in Berlin for uh, there for a moment. Definitely saw him. I need to look for him. Dogs in Berlin going in for an orange camp, playing a bit safe. Although I would just go for a red camp at this point. Take that risk. Try to level up, level yourself up. But uh oh, now this is why people call me reckless. As I said, I would take that risk. If I would have taken that risk, or if the dog of Berlin would have taken that risk, he wouldn't have been in a fix right now. We got burning oil! Demolish it with burning oil, baby! And that's one way of doing things. That's one way of uh, burning down those Druid of the Talons. And uh, I believe you cannot cycle on mechanical units, can you? No, I don't think you can cycle on mechanical units. Actually, I'm gonna have to check that. Somebody gonna have to check that, or maybe we'll find it out. Unless until he doesn't. No, we wouldn't find out if he doesn't uh, try to target that yet. But yeah, burning oil upgrade, man. This is something great. And that fire lord about to get taken out. So much damage on the side of Lucker. And Lucker is the one actually that picked up the Tinker. Really a surprising thing to do. I expected Nidal to do that. Very, uh, or rather Cyclone. Tossed up into the air. And now I'm gonna use Purge. Maybe he didn't even use Purge, he just attacked uh, with the Blade Master there. With 122 critical, wow, yikes. That is a lot of damage. Is a lot of damage. And UBXD says you can't. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Just yeah. The broader meta is now kind of getting back to the stagnant stage where okay this thing just ain't working don't do that anymore i like how lucker is placing his uh goblin uh clockwork uh what do you call that pocket factory yeah the, the, uh, clockwork pocket factory and the circle on before he gets those uh creeps to wake up level up his tinker and we'll leave the blade master behind and oh speaking of recklessness here comes dogs in, Ber dogs in berlin Luck is in trouble right now. Demolisher being attacked! No! Magic damage! Dealing more damage against those just demolishers. And whoa, that's a huge loss for Lucker. Burning all gotta work though. Huge fight going down, but it's really hard to say who's gonna get ahead of this. Both of the armies are pretty much into each other right now. Big Master tossed up into the air. Beef Master taking some hits. Potion of Invul going down. Dogs in Berlin with. 25 food of an army, Lucker with 51, and that happened kind of an, in, in, in an instantaneous uh, sit, uh, scenario that I would say. So attack. the main thing that uh, dogs in Berlin even managed to take out were Lucker's demolishers, or Lucker trying to basically just either uh, save or sacrifice his demolishers, just uh, took out the entirety of the army of dogs in Berlin, who is just left with three of his heroes right now. And now he is getting his trump card. He is getting chimps. Chimera is incoming, baby.
I think this is something that Nidal players have picked up and are doing a lot lately. If it doesn't work, just go for chimps. Just drop them off. Just top uh, two Chimera Roosts at uh, a back a end or a side somewhere where your opponent wouldn't instantly know. Just start training them. Chimeras deal very, very much damage. Magic damage is really great against the Orc army. Grunfell taking, taking the extra damage from them. These things will be torn apart for sure. And Luck is gonna have very less to respond with. Here comes the first one up in the air and it's gonna take out that Clockwork Goblin Factory. Uh, or rather, Pocket Factory. I like, got nothing and oh, he's gonna target the Tinker! Tinker managing to escape right in the nick of time. Now the Chimera being attacked. There are not enough Chimeras to deal with Lucker's army. If that Chimera goes down, there's gonna be a big loss! Big loss for Dogs in Berlin. And he leaves the game. Giving the victory to Lucker. Who won this game with Demolishers, Shamans and Grunts. Lovely game there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and listening. If you have enjoyed what you have seen, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more. Like always, I will be seeing you next time. Oh. Warcraft. Yay.